Dan Plezak, what do you got? You know, man, I think this guy really is looking for a redeemer into this one. Went into the sixth inning in his last start, couldn't quite get out of the sixth, end up taking the loss, and I'm sure that hurt, and he's expecting a lot more out of himself in this start here today. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. That is second. The second baseman, Brad Miller. Stepping in, Brad Miller getting 500 in the series so far, four for eight. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. Oh, it takes a nasty hop, and he's unable to haul it in. That is third. The third baseman, Alex Bone. To the plate now, Alec Bohm. Little chopper back to the mound. Oh, and a look what I found out there on the mound. There's one. Throw on to first, won't be in time, so they just get the one there. And kids, this is why you always go hard into second base. Could have been an easy double play ball, but the slide really impacts the throw to first, and they wind up only getting one out on the play. Good, aggressive, legal slide that time. So digging in now, number 10, and he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. And guys, these Reds, as they enter play here this afternoon, they have not been playing all that well, to put it charitably, as they come into this one losers of seven straight games. Oof, and it's safe to say he doesn't look all that comfortable up there. 0-2 now. Made him look silly with that one. Chases out of the zone for strike three, and that's the third out of the inning. One left for Philadelphia. Now it'll be the Reds' turn. No score. Brandon Kinsler, the Nevada-born starter, will get the call in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, Matty V, this ought to be a fun one to watch. This guy's been around the block for a while, but he's having a rock-solid season with a real good ERA. It'll be really interesting to see how he attacks his opposing lineup. Ready on 0-2. Heading out towards shallow right. Harper has a read on it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Batting second. The center fielder. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And into bat next, it'll be Tyler Naquin. Dan D. Road, these Phillies, as they begin play here today, they'll look to make it three straight here as they come in on the heels of two straight wins. Yeah, Matty, a lot of things trending in the right direction for this team. They won their last game. They scored a bunch of runs, and let's see if they continue that today. And that's the second out. Batting third, the left fielder, Winker. So bases are empty here with two gone, and next to bat will be Jesse Winker. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. Now a change up, but it misses just a little below the zone. It's one and two. One and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. An inning in the. So now to the plate, Didi Gregorius. He went deep in the contest last night. Didi Gregorius. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Count one and zero. Oh. Now the 1 0. Fouled away. The 1 1 home.
hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. He put up a pretty good battle at the plate right there. They finally get him on a one and two pitch, but you could see that he wasn't laying down without a fight. He really made the pitcher earn that strikeout. Here's Bryce Harper now. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. The wind up and the 0 1. Now a swing and a miss, and things are not looking real promising here. Down 0 and 2. Not much he can do with that one. Tied him up in knots. And a splitter swung on and missed that time, and that'll be out number two. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really That's sharp good. out there, guys. The first base, number 17, Reese Hoskins. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at a first pitch fastball for strike one. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Looked like he was cheating the heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Now a swing and a deep drive to left. Into the upper deck and gone. Reese Hoskins with a solo shot. Sixth home run on the season for him. And the Phillies grab a one to nothing lead. Certainly a tape measure shot there as we take a look at it with our show track technology. 111 miles an hour was the exit velocity so it comes as no surprise that it carried as far as it did. Here's Matt Joyce now. And he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball 1 and 0. And he's looking to get it going off to a bit of a slow start this year. Can't sit back long enough and the count evens up at 1 and 1. Phillies have an early 1 nothing lead here in inning number 2. Hits sharply on the ground to second. Mustakis has it. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. And as a former pitcher, I can tell you, nothing is more painful than having to get extra outs in an inning. That should have been out number three there. Instead, he has to refocus and get back to work. So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. And that'll bring up the pitcher, Brandon Kinsler. I uh, had him lunging at that one out of the zone, and that's strike one. And I really don't know how you swing at that. He must have had his mind up. He was going to swing as soon as the ball came out of the pitcher's hand. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Joyce, the runner at first with two gone. And it's fouled away. One ball, two strike count to the Phillies pitcher. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. The one two is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. But the Phillies strike first on this solo home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's now 1-0 Philadelphia.
Riding into the box, Nicholas Castellanos. As he'll get his first opportunity in this one. No balls and a strike to count. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Swing and a ball pulled hard down the line in left. And that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. Just an absolute laser that time. Screaming off the bat, if you will. And Showtrack tells us it went out at 112 miles an hour. Those are the line drives you can hear as they go by. In now, Mike Moustakis. And he's seen his numbers on the rise here over the last five games or so. The third baseman. So striding in, Eugenio Suarez, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Lays off the slider, and it's one and one. High in the air down the right field line. On the move is Harper, and he makes the catch in the corner. And the run will score on the sacrifice fly as that'll square things at one to one. Great the job there by this power hitter. Known for driving the ball out of the ballpark. Does the job right there with the sack fly and brings the run home. Fouled off. Time to be aggressive with these hitters now. After that sack fly, now it's time to try to get out of this inning with only one run scored. Right at the third baseman, and that'll end the inning. The sights and sounds of a day at the ballpark. Oh, my goodness. More of MLB Network Saturday baseball after this. New inning set to get underway and standing in the outfielder Odubel Herrera. First pitch on its way. And that one swung on and missed 0 and 1. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And he fouls this one off. Another 0-2 coming. Got him swinging in the dirt. Barnhart is after it, and he makes the throw to first. Herrera is retired, and there's one away. The batter number 50. Digging in to try it again, Brad Miller. Swung on and missed its 0-1. Bases are empty, one man out. Barely able to make contact. Down 0-2 now. Nothing in two count. And the pitch. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. Well, no one really likes getting plunked by a pitch, but as long as it doesn't do too much damage, most guys will take it any day. A free pass can be a big deal if the guys behind you can make it hurt for the pitcher. Digging in, Alec Bone, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss as he was way in front of that one. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Hey, that's the modern game right now, north-south. Elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in the dirt. Completely different from the east-west we came up playing. And a good two-strike pitch, but he misses high one and two. 
Great mid A B adjustment right there. Swung at the first high fastball and was able to take the second one. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. I got to count two and two. Well, he kind of got caught chasing the first two pitches out of the strike zone, but I think he's caught on to their game a little bit right now. Two tough pitches that he took with two strikes, and now the count is two and two. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. To second for one. Relay to Votto's in time at first, and it's a double play. Side retired. Down quickly go the Phillies. After two and a half, it remains a. Now at the plate, Tucker Barnhart. Lifetime against Brandon Kinsler. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Grounder down the line at third, but that'll get foul. It's 0 2 now. Pitch on the way. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Beautiful backdoor slider for the punch out right there, guys. When it's tight like this one was, it looks like a fastball off the plate, then darts back at the corner at the last second. Locked them up completely with that one. Tyler Molly comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one behind 0 and 2 now. Hit down the line at first, but this will wind up foul, still 0 and 2. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Now that Stepping into the box, Nick Senzel. Fly down in his first at bat, so make it 0 for 1 so far. Scooped up. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Reds are down in order. We played three full. We're tied at one. Ready for another chance. JT Real Muto. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. One and one. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Count is one and two now. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. Barnhart goes to get it, and he makes the throw to first. Real Muto is retired, and there's one away. Here's Didi Gregorius looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Now the pitch. One run, two hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. And it's quickly 0 2. Now the pitch. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. A dive, and oh, he can't hang on. In time to first, and there are two away. The right fielder, number three. Right. Harper. Two are gone in the Philly fourth, and that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. And he goes and chops this one out towards second. Mustakis is there, and the off balance throw is right there for the third out, and a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. On to the bottom of the fourth, tied 1-1. Into the box, Tyler Naquin comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Tyler Here comes the first pitch. On 
its way the 0 1 pitch. Now a changeup in on the hands that evens it at 1 and 1. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, that backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's a very effective pitch. If you can hit the outside corner of that pitch, it's unhittable. On a line, that's a base hit. So it's a leadoff base hit, and it makes for a good start to the inning for Cincinnati. Hey, guys, that's an excellent job right there. That's a back foot slider. Usually those are kryptonite for most batters, and he's able to fight it off, keep his hands inside the baseball, and deliver a base hit. Into the box, Jesse Winker. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And he misses with it 1 and 1. A ball and two strikes. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late. And you can't even put a good swing on it. One there. On to first, and they get them both. That's one of the hardest double plays to turn right there because of the difficult throw the first baseman has to make. No problem this time, though, and they get the two outs they were looking for. Here it comes. Nicholas Castellanos is the batter now as he looks at a ball of 1 0. High and deep to right center. Herrera's there. And the inning is over. None left for Cincinnati. Fifth inning coming up, tied at one. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I talked with Philadelphia's manager during the break about the Phillies' offensive production to this point, and he mentioned they need to show a lot more patience with their at-bats moving forward. He told me that they've been way too aggressive on the first pitch of the at-bat, and while he doesn't necessarily condemn that if it's leading to hits, that's clearly not the case right now. Over 80% of their at-bats have started with a swing on the first pitch, and a lot of those have resulted in swinging misses or outs, guys. Okay, thank you, Heidi. And he falls behind 0-2. Hoskins has had his trouble in these matchups, facing right-handed pitching, that is. He shows a lot more prowess against the southpaws. Line drive to left. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. So there'll be a man aboard here to start out their half of the fifth. Sometimes you just got to thank your lucky stars right there. Definite missed execution pitch right there. Eyes lit up on that pitch right down the middle. Another example of how difficult it is to throw three quality pitches in a row. The first two pitches right on the corner. That one a little bit too much of the plate. Matt Joyce stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. He comes in 0 for 1 on the day thus far after reaching on an error his first time up. A one count. Here's the pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Nick wins under it. And that's the first out of the inning. Now batting the pitcher, Brandon Kinsler. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Brandon Kinsler. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. He's set and the pitch. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. One of the biggest factors on how long you're going to go to start is how many first pitch strikes you throw. 80% usually means you're going to have a pretty good day, and that's on the menu so far. One run on three hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Softly hit down to third, likely no shot at two. There's one. Return throw is in time. How about that? They do turn two, and it gets him out of the inning. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. And back in Cincinnati as we check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to talk about the state of the Reds' offense with their manager between innings, and he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs, so the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. 
Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. The third baseman, number seven. Hey, you, Hedio. Warren. Now batting, Eugenio Suarez picked up an RBI on a sack fly in his first appearance. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Comes set and the 0 1. And here's a changeup in there for a cold third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Flat out locked him up with the changeup right there. Usually you're trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two strike count, but clearly he wasn't looking for it, so it's a backwards K for him. Two quick outs in this inning so far, and his pitch count is really down. I think one of the keys is he's been attacking the strike zone early on, making these guys swing the bat so far in this one. Throw in time, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Reds. We played five full, tied at one aside. Odubel Herrera to the plate now. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. The center fielder, Odubel Herrera. First pitch of the at bat. Grounded to the right. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. So coming to the plate, Brad Miller. Last time up, he was hit by a pitch. Yeah, Matty, you're not lying. Last time up, squared right in the back. Hopefully it doesn't stiffen up. I want to see if he can get through something right here. The difference between 0-1 and 1-0 is so monumental, and this guy has been on top of his game all day attacking the zone and getting ahead of these hitters. Now a breaking ball runs in on him as he's got to get his hands out of the way on that pitch. You know, I'm not sure he didn't throw that pitch out of the zone on purpose. They've been swinging at pretty much everything he throws, so why not give it a shot? One and two now as that one's fouled off. And now a pitch on the way. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. Just tied him up with that last pitch. Pretty evident by the swing. Sometimes guys get in that protect mode so much that they're swinging at everything that they see and they end up offering it pitches that they can't possibly do anything with. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. No hits to this point. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. Now the one and one pitch. Pulls this one in the air out to left. And that'll get down for a base hit. Wow, I'm shocked he even pulled the trigger on that pitch. He might have been fooled right there, but he was able to keep his hands back and scramble a good pitch for a base hit. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that brings up JT Realmuto. From the stretch. Fouled away. Hey, a two-out single isn't all that bad, but it can be when you've got this part of the lineup coming up. Hit hard to short. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. One hit, one left. On to the bottom of inning number six. All tied at one and one. Now with the play, Tucker Barnhart. He'll get things started here in the second half of the sixth. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Good breaking ball right there. Good hard slider. The count now 0-2. He's getting deep into the outing, but his slider is still staying sharp. He doesn't look at all like he's starting to tire. He looks as good now as he did early on in the game. 
the pitcher, number 30, Tyler Molly. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Tyler Molly, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. And he takes a cold strike, 0 and 1. One out, nobody on. In there, and he's in control, 0 2 now. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of the spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. The 0 2 once more. At the ball. Mine to the right side. But this will hang just long enough for him to run it down in shallow right for the second now, out. The shortstop. Nick. Into the box now, Nick Senzel. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. 1 and 1 to the Reds' leadoff man. And this one runs a little too far in. Ball two. And he popped him up. In there, a base hit. So that knock keeps the bottom of the sixth inning hot. And they keep the inning alive with a base hit. But you can see that's only the third hit. He's given up the entire game. So he's still in total control out there. So here's Tyler Naquin, one for two in the ball game thus far. On a line, that's a base hit in the left field. Hey, after back-to-back two-out hits right now, this pitcher thought he was going to cruise through this inning, and now he's got traffic, and he's in jeopardy with a ball in the gap or a ball missed over the heart of the plate, a crooked number going on the board. The Reds have been searching for that big hit all game long. Let's hope they can get it. They're starting to run out of time. It's about time for something to happen. Miller's got it, and the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Red strand a couple. Score remains tied one-to-one. -one. Stepping up now, Didi Gregorius. He'll start the seventh, and Dan, as a former pitcher yourself, you must be enjoying this. Lots of good pitching and defense today. Oh, that's one of the keys. We're seeing a lot of strikes. We're seeing a lot of swings. We're seeing some great plays on defense. This has been a snappy one up to this point. The windup and the 0-1. Ripped down the first baseline. But this will get foul for strike two. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. Looks like the Reds are going to have some stirring in the bullpen as the lefties begun to heat up down there. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a blooper to the right side. Mustakis is there, and that's the first out of the inning. The right fielder, Stepping in, Bryce right. Harper, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Swung on, and this ball is absolutely crushed. Forget about it. And they have taken the lead. A solo home run off the bat of Bryce Harper. Sixth home run on the season for him, and it's given the Phils a 2-1 to one lead. You can call it unfair or just the breaks of the game, but up until this pitch, which was a big mistake, he was throwing a gem. Now he looks up at the scoreboard, and he's trailing. That's demoralizing, but he's got to forget about it quickly. Red Skipper up out of the dugout and making that Your slow trek to the mound. Now, and it would appear he's seen enough of his starter this no afternoon. No way. So he'll wind up going six and a third, and he's kept his club in it to this point, though he cannot win the ball game. Oh, and won the count.
Now the pitch. Turned on down the line. He's got it. And there are two away now. The left viewer, number seven, Matt Joy. Settling in now, Matt Joyce. 0 for 2 for him to this point. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. I can't speak from experience, but that's got to feel good right there. Throwing a nasty changeup first pitch and getting a swing and a miss on it. Now he pretty much opened up any pitch in his arsenal. Donnie looked like a caveman swing and a club on that one. It's 0 and 2 now. Yeah, Matty, I'm going to need a better approach out of the eight-all hitter. He's hitting in the bottom of the order for a reason. He's got to be willing to work the count, grind it, get this pitch count up. Thank you. And the second baseman is there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Ladies and gentlemen, Phillies get one in the frame courtesy of this solo home run. Bottom of the seventh inning coming up. Get up and stretch. Now two to one, Philadelphia. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. He's batting cleanup in this one, but will get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just the single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. Count is even one and one to Nicholas Castellanos. Now a pitch runs in on him here, and all he can do is flare one foul off to the right side. Again, another foul ball. Another one sent foul. Hit high and deep out to left center field. Back goes Joyce to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. The batter, number nine, second baseman, Mike Moustakis. Stepping up to the plate, Mike Moustakis. And I think the question becomes, how much longer are they going to stick with this starter? Fatigue could very well become a factor at some point. Yeah, that's always a tough question. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. That had to be in the scouting report right there. You don't see too many O-O breaking ball seven. ambushes in the game. He had to know that pitch was coming. Oh, at the plate now, Eugenio Suarez drilled down the line. He hit a sack fly earlier. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Joyce is there. Two down. The first baseman, number 19, Joey Bravo. So a pivotal moment here and digging in now, Joey Votto. And he does so representing the possible go-ahead run. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1-0 is taken for ball two. Two tough sliders right there, but he was able to lay off them. Might have bought himself a fastball in this situation. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And Votto reaches. He's got a base hit. Everybody's different coming out of spring training. Some guys get off to toward starts. Some guys struggle. This is one that struggled, but maybe that single gets him going. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. That's inside. 2-0. A hey, time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. That gets down, and the inning will continue. And they'll tie the ball game as the run scores from second to make it a 2-2 ball game now. You know, d in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late inning, so that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen, and I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sink and cut. That is unbelievable he's able to get that knock in that big spot. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. A ball and two strikes. 
A swing and a ball to left field. That's going to get down for a base hit. Watto blows through the stop sign, headed for home. Oh, and the tag will get him at home plate as that keeps the ball game tied. But Amir Garrett will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Andrew McCutcheon is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top of the eighth. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. A swing and a ground ball to third. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. At the plate, Odubel Herrera. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. He's set. Here it comes. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Go-ahead runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Before the delivery, a check on that go-ahead run at first. It's way the 0 1 pitch. In the dirt, but it's swung on for the third strike. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Spotted it nicely down around the bottom of the zone. And when you do that, especially with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. And it's fouled away. The 0-1 delivery. This is line to left. And that's in there. Base hit. Next to Philadelphia, the third baseman, Alex Bone. Scott Kingery will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number four, Scott Kingery. Not what he wanted to do there with the slider as it misses well above the zone. The 1 0. Boy, the Phillies have been looking for some offense all game long. They've yet to find it. Let's hope they can find it pretty soon. The 1 1 is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike two. In a big spot like this, you have to be looking for something you can handle. That pitch bunched him up completely. So I think he's trying to do a little bit too much right now. Fouled off. This is hit to third. Will it be two? To second for one. Relay to Votto's in time at first, and it's a double play. Side retired. A hit and an error in the inning, but they failed to score. Scott Kingery is going to go ahead and stay in the ball game and play third now. Vince Velasquez will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. Velasquez. This one for the shortstop, Gregorius. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. Now better and next will be the versatile Tyler Naquin. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. There to take it in is Harper, and there are two away now. I know they say sometimes that these things even out, but that was a bullet line drive that gets caught. He would have represented the go-ahead run. Jesse Winker is at the plate as he looks at ball one. Hit out towards second. Miller is there. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. Takes just four pitches to set down the Reds. 
All set for the start of the inning. And now it will be the catcher, JT Wilmuto. First delivery to him on the way. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Naquin's on the move. He's there and records the first down. Now batter. The shortstop. Digging in. Didi Gregorius. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ground ball right side. And there's out number two. The right field number three. Right. Harper. Stepping into the box, Bryce Harper. He went deep last time up. And hey, it was a breaking ball to boot. This guy's a pretty good off-speed hitter. You could tell by that last at bat he wasn't fooled at all. He sat back, waited, got the breaking ball, and didn't miss it. Guess where he's going with this next pitch? Probably a little further outside. See if the fish are still biting. Harper behind with an 0-2 count now. Still no balls and two strikes. Two out, nobody on. And he strikes him out on a good pitch. So one run can win it. At Ready to go for the last half of the inning. The right-handed hitting Nicholas Castellanos will bat next. Strike one to start the at-bat. The wind-up and the 0-1. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0-2 now. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, not normally a good plan to throw three consecutive sliders in a row. This guy's slider is so good, I think he might throw it again. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. That's what you call clipping the outside corner. Great come movement back. on that come slider, on. and it completely Second locked base. up the hitter. Didn't fool the umpire, though. Move. Into the box now, Mike Mustakis. As he takes a called strike on the black, it's 0-1. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Even one and one count to Mustakis. Hey, that backdoor breaking ball just missed. He had a chance to run it to 0-2. Now a drive to right field. This could do it. Game over. Walk off home run. Solo shot to right center, and none bigger than that one as this ball game is over. Well, they say better late than never, and that's obviously something that he takes to heart as he puts a charge in one for a walk-off homer. Got to be the best feeling in all of baseball. A one-run game this afternoon, 3-2 to the, two, the final finish.